Tiffany, Maggie has a question for you. Does the spirit have to be connected to me to know something? I have a boy spirit we call the pancake boy. Oh, I know Maggie. Know more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She says you shared her story. Yeah, yeah. Even though you might not know them personally, they still may have some valuable pieces of information to share with you. So you don't necessarily have to know that person personally. Um, I've worked with historical societies. There was this one time I was walking around with the historical society and this one room that they brought me in, I just said, I looked at one of the girls and I said, this person, Charlotte, that's coming through, she just shows me books piled on top of your passenger side seat of your car. And she's saying, thank you. And the woman started to well up. Her eyes got oh, teary. And, yeah. <laughs> and she goes, are you kidding me right now? And I said, no, why? What's going on? She goes, this is Charlotte's room. And I've devoted most of my time to just tell Charlotte's story. So, and Charlotte oh, yeah. was someone who lived in the house back in the 1700s. So oh. there was no interaction except for just, you know, having that sense of knowing. So when you think, like, I wonder if our loved ones know that I'm thinking about them. Absolutely. If Charlotte from the 1700s is thanking Carol in 2016, yeah. or that's when it was, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there is, there's, there's not that line of time. We don't have that frequency of time where they go. And that's why when we get messages, sometimes it could be messages that were from recent past to present to maybe something that hasn't even come into fruition yet. So it's always good when, whether you're on an investigation or where you're getting a personal reading is make note of all the information because I can guarantee you that they are just pieces of a puzzle just waiting to be completed. Uh, Tiff, I think my fiance's widow is still in the house and I notice more now that we are getting married in four weeks. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Donna. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, Obviously, I really do feel like she is in the house. Oh, yes, Stanley. Stanley. Likes to jump on the dining room table, and climb over. Um, so I love you too. I love you too. So Donna, I want to say that definitely I feel like she still is in the house, but I don't want you to get nervous about it. A lot of times our loved ones will come through, especially when there's an anniversary coming up or holiday coming up anything that's big that's coming up. So this is a huge milestone for both you and your fiance. This is a huge game changer. So I feel like she is coming through. You need to know that she's giving you her blessing. So I don't want you to feel of it as a haunting, but more so as a visit. And, you know, I'm just so happy for you. And I really feel like this is one big happy family and just appreciate the fact that she's there just sending and allowing you two to be together in the most beautiful way. And I like the way you said that. It's it's not a haunting, it's a visit. Yes. I believe that's true more often than not. Sometimes yeah. the visit's a little longer. You know, families, they like to overstay their welcome, but sometimes they're, they're just, I love that. I agree. Like when you said that, I'm like, I'm going to, I'm now that's what I'm going to say. It's not a haunt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm totally stealing that. <laughs>